let's talk about alcohol. People ask me all the time, how can you put alcohol in ice cream if alcohol doesn't freeze? Let's just go over some basics first. Water freezes at 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Your ethanol alcohol, rubbing alcohol, freezes at negative 173.2 degrees. The stuff we drink, like beer, wine, liquors, whatever it is, is somewhere in between water and pure ethanol alcohol. Obviously because the alcohol that we drink isn't just pure alcohol, it's sugar, flavoring, water, bunch of stuff. Really the important things for us to know isn't exactly what alcohol it is, but what is the alcohol by volume? Or what normal people will call its proof. Find the proof of the alcohol literally smack in the front of whatever bottle it is and it will be in percentage form percent tells you how much of that liquid is actually pure alcohol. The higher that percent goes, the lower their freezing point. So the more alcohol you have, the harder it's going to be to freeze it. That, that makes sense, right? Right? <sighs> beers, for instance. Normal beers. Some of those like fancy ass IPAs that go way crazy on the alcohol content. You know, like your normal standard beer will be at a 10% proof or lower. Beer's freezing point is usually at 28 degrees, so a solid four degrees lower than water, but not too far from it. Just so you don't put beers in the freezer, but if you don't know why, go ahead, try it out. Wine is usually somewhere around the 14%, and that means that it'll freeze around 23 degrees. So now we're looking at like a, almost a full 10 degree difference from water. Okay, but what about like actual liquor? Liquor you are adding is 40 proof. It's not gonna freeze until it reaches around 22 degrees. So very similar to wine. That I'm not talking about like freeze to the solidity of like an ice cube. We're talking about starting to form ice crystals. So like think that slushy phase. If we jump all the way up to a 64% proof, liquid won't freeze until it reaches negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit. It's like a big difference. For whatever reason, you make it all the way up to 80 proof. That thing's gonna freeze until it reaches at least negative 17 degrees. So, find yourself a really cold freezer. Then how does this work in ice cream? All about balance. You need enough liquid in your ice cream to be able to freeze and hold a scoopable kind of texture without being compromised by all the unfreezable components in there, aka your alcohol not recommend doing anything smaller than a four to one ratio. What does that mean? Let's say you have one cup of tequila in your ice cream recipe. That means you need to have at least bare minimum, minimum four cups of some other liquid that is not alcohol that will freeze in that recipe. Even then you need to take into account that there's sugar and there's other things in there that are going to make it more difficult for your ice cream to churn and freeze properly. So just err on the side of caution and like relax with the alcohol. What did we learn today? Alcohol freezes at a significantly lower temperature than water does, obviously. It's a little easier to know that the higher the proof or the more alcohol that's in that liquid makes it even more difficult for it to freeze. In order to add alcohol to your ice cream base, you need at least a four to one ratio. So make sure you've got four times the amount of liquid that is not alcohol in your recipe or it will not work. Still may not work if you've got too much sugar or it doesn't freeze fast enough or a whole bunch of other reasons. It's really a crapshoot 95% of the time, but don't make that the reason. I get questions on this topic all the time. So if you, for whatever reason, still have a question, Hit me up, I got you. If you like these videos, please make sure you subscribe, give it a thumbs up and share on whatever social media page you happen to be watching this on. That's how your girl gets support. It's also so hot in here all the time. What the fuck? Granted, the three types of alcohol I've been consuming during this video is probably contributing to my heat flash. Really kidding, this has been iced tea the whole time.